When I think about Martin Luther King, I think about him as a great teacher. I really appreciated the soaring oratory. I really appreciated the call to freedom. And I really appreciated this pressing for um, collective justice. He has taught us so much about race, poverty, militarism, inequality, and there's so much to learn. When you hear uh, the tape recordings and the video recordings that we have nowadays, uh, it's really powerful and it's really soul-shaking. I began to understand him as a man and as a fallible man. And I understood my own fallibility, but the desire to kind of continue to press towards justice. What helped me understand Dr. King better was, was understanding that he was at peace in a much larger movement that still continues today. Now we also know he didn't operate alone. And that's encouraging to somebody like me. Not all of us are charismatic leaders and heroes like he is. And in his humanity, I'm able to see myself because I no longer have to be perfect to enact social change. I know my parents uh, growing up, they always taught me the um, importance of voting and exercising the right to let my voice be heard because people look like us haven't always had the ability to do that. Um, so recognizing people like Dr. King who help fight for those rights and to make sure we are seen as equal. However, today, the legacy and the challenge remains to continue our struggle for racial justice, particularly in our culture and in our uh, lives with each other. I'm inspired by the work of Dr. King um, by recognizing that we are not there yet. We have not reached a sense of equality in this country, whether it be um, by gender, sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, religion. People are very, uh, still to this day oppressed and marginalized. And even though the problem may seem like the biggest thing in the world, that the small changes and the small chips at this big boulder that's in front of us uh, is still making headway. And Martin Luther King comes to me as a dreamer who is a testament of hope, an exemplar of hope. The part of Martin Luther King's legacy that means most to me is his image of the beloved community. Uh, this community built on justice and peace and love. Uh, I think this can speak to us at Santa Clara as we try to build what I've called this culture of generous encounter with each other. That MLK Day is not just a day off, but a day of service, and that we're giving back to the community, and that we are reaching out and building those bridges across different communities. Uh, Martin Luther King has really inspired me along with the entire cohort of students that he led, you know, through SNCC and that Ella Baker also led through the like Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. I think that really inspires me to continue to get involved and to learn more about myself and my community. Dr. Martin Luther King has taught me to keep hanging on to hope and faith even when times are tough. If I had one word to describe Martin Luther King Jr., I would say awake change agent warrior empowering it would be faith it would be revolutionary if i have to pick one word it's not one word it's three a strong demanding love courage i would describe him as a man of profound courage anchored in god i would choose community because he worked in coalition with many different people yet the base of it was always love and justice